This is 80 grams of sugar. And that's the same as just one of these Morton 320 mixes. Some athletes, like Gustav Eden, consume as many as six of these a day. That's a lot of sugar, and we're told that eating lots of sugar is bad for us, that we need to limit the amount we eat. But as you might know, Gustav just won the Ironman World Championship at Kona and set a new course record. So, who's right? First, we need to understand the concern around sugar. Rightly or wrongly, various experts suggest too much sugar could contribute to obesity to insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and the range of other problems that are associated with it. We're told we should eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grain carbohydrates, and at the same time, reduce the amount of free sugar in our diet. But athletes like Gustav Eden consume so much free sugar through sports and are incredible at what they do, with Gustav recently winning Kona and breaking the record. So why the fuss about sugar? Why is it so important? Sugar, in the basic sense, is what our body relies on as fuel for exercise. Our cells use a sugar called glucose to generate ATP, which then powers our muscles. Importantly, sugar is the only energy source our body can use during high-intensity exercise. We can't use fat when working at max effort, which means sugar is incredibly important for interval training. But unfortunately, we can only store a small amount of sugar in our body as glycogen, which means we have to continually consume it to give our body the energy to exercise. When we eat food containing carbohydrates, they're broken down in our intestines and absorbed into our bloodstream. Our body notices this and our pancreas releases insulin to help move glucose into our cells. When we eat lots of sugar, our body has to produce and release even more insulin to cope with it. And this large production of insulin is a major worry with the consumption of lots of sugar. But when we're exercising, the mechanism is different. Our cells are more receptive to insulin in the first place, so we need less of it to move glucose into them. But we also have something called non-insulin mediated glucose uptake, where we don't actually need insulin to move glucose into our cells, so we don't need to release it. So when you're exercising, you're getting a very different response to if you were just eating lots of sugar sitting on the sofa. The way to think about this is that when you're exercising and consuming sugar, you are just directly fueling your muscles and the sugar is going straight there. Lots of people worry about the health effects of sugar, but this shouldn't be the case when we're talking about it in an exercise capacity. You can't exercise properly without it, so you won't be able to train as well as you could, and most likely, if you avoid it, you'll struggle to hit your goals. You're also far more likely to run into problems with underfueling your training if you avoid sugar, because it's so important from a calorie point of view. Elite athletes like Gustav Eden might need as many as 8,000 calories per day, and you can't do that with classically healthy food. Liquid food, in this case as carbohydrates, is well tolerated by your gut and has low satiety, so it's great for using around training to keep your calories up. However, that's not just to say that this is an issue just for elite athletes, because age groupers could easily need well over 3,000 calories per day. Even that amount is hard if you try to avoid sugar or processed food. As always here, it's about balance. It's not as easy as just saying sugar is good or sugar is bad, because it can be both. It's all about context. I'd love to know what you think about sugar. Is it something that you avoid or is it something that you consume a lot of? Let me know in the comments, including if you've got any particularly strong feelings on this subject. So nutrition nerds, enjoy your training and hey, probably have some sugar, right?